Uh, I'm playing Dots. Uh, Dave Fennell is his real name. Uh, What's he like? He was brought up by his granny. His parents legged it when he was a kid, you know what I mean? And uh, basically, he's been in like institutional facilities since the age of fucking 12, 13. But his best mate, Liam, he's the conflicting character, you know what I mean? So I'm just dragging him down, trying to get him involved in drugs and stuff. His uncle was big involved. So basically, Dots is just, he's not bad to the bone, but he doesn't know any difference apart from running around town causing trouble, you know what I mean? Here's Kenneth, one of the lads here, he's playing. They paid me out, mate, what's happening? He's playing uh, there. Foot Mel, this, yeah, yeah. this, this is Kenneth. Oh, All right, Fred. Kenneth, how are you oh, doing? Sorry. Ah, oh, grand, you know, you're well, you're so. yeah. You'd need loads of patients down here, wouldn't you? It would, oh, not standing God. around, yeah. Yeah, it's not physical, it's more than mental, yeah. you know, boys, you know. Yeah, and you're well, in the film now? Yes, eh? yes, so I play Foot and Mouth, you know. It's good, you know what I mean? After being sitting down there doing nothing, to get me out of the house, you know what I mean? And what, what, unless, what, what's Foot and Mouth's character? What, what do you mean? It basically is an, is a, is an addict, yeah? And he, that bang wakes him up, yeah? And he comes out, you know, and he wants to, you know, see, see the blows, he wants to get himself together, and I get a bit of stuff for himself. And it was only 11 o'clock, your man had nothing. So we keep following him, and it's gorging him, and it's gorging him, and he stops you with a gun, basically. And the rest is to your imagination. And you can see it when it comes out. I'm not telling you the rest. That's it. And is this your first film or have you done uh, I've done, I've done, I've done some acting before, but mostly extras. So I was in their commitments. I was in, uh, you know, I'm the father, walk on parts, you know what I mean? Uh, what else? Uh, the Mike Collins. Uh, the other one, you don't know what. Yeah, yeah, yeah with Brendan. Your man was in there, Brendan Gleeson. The, the general, the general, that one as well, yeah. Yeah, we've been in them, yeah. But as I said, you just walk on packs. Okay. okay. I didn't know I had this in me until I tried it. You know what I mean? Good. It's going good. Are you like it, yeah? I'm liking it. Very good, yeah. A lot of stick. Uh, giving a lot of well, stick. Just giving the mate of ours a bit of stick, you know? <laughs> Old Farmer Brown. <laughs> <laughs> the Dotsy. Old Dotsy. <laughs> you know? And what's your, what's your character's name, or do you have names? Or? I'm Jimbo, he's Mazza. Mazza. <laughs> Awesome. I'd be a good bit of crack, you know. Is this your film debut? It's your first film? Yeah. This is our uh, yeah. first film you've ever done, yeah. yeah. You were offered to, or you were going to do one there. What's that film? Yeah. In the name of the name father. In the father, yeah. yeah. And the boxer, the boxer as well. Boxer, yeah. I couple just, of films bit, down there with Daniel Day Lewis, you know? A bit know? nervous, where it says, I'll be giving it a try this time. I'm, I'm up for it now, so you know what I mean? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to throwing a bit, a bit of stick in anyway, so that should be good, you know what I mean? <laughs> we lift yeah. out that to you, but... <laughs> I have a lot of things in this mind. Ah, oh, oh, plenty. I'm, I'm reading everything in my mind now. We, <laughs> we, we get it in one. We get it in one. The shots. What are you doing in town? How did you get here? Shots. Did you piss all over the toilet seat this morning? <laughs> what? Did you what? Did you piss your teddy bear frog out the bed again last night? Don't keep me on shit, you know? Anyway, what's the name of your character and what's he like? Um, lame. And uh, what's he like? He's just like me. <laughs> uh, he's just he's real soft, but he's sort of a little small town drug dealer. He's the leader of the crew, even though that seems like he is. He's kind of like the third whale in the story of the mates, anyway. You've got Liam and Dots, who are best mates, and then I'm Dots' cousin, so I'm like the third mate. And he kind of uh, he joins up with them about 20 minutes or something into the story, into the film. And uh, he's kind of the one who's like, that's, that's, that's got into trouble. And yeah, he always finds himself at the centre of trouble caused by, mainly because of Dots and, uh, and Liam. So he's kind of like, uh, you kind of feel sorry for him because uh, he gets a bit of a hiding in the film. And uh, he's kind of, he's not hard enough or not crazy enough to be to be Dots and he hasn't got the brains really to, to be like Liam and try and achieve something better. So he's kind of stuck in the middle of these two, like, you know. Uh, so he's always going to be stuck in, in that environment and that area. and. Just gonna struggle to struggle to get by, you know. I mean, he starts off, and it's just another Paddy's day where he thinks oh, there's probably gonna be some trouble. But I think Scratch Card's journey really. He kind of he sees that Lamey wants to go and better himself, and he respects that, and he, you know, has a weird kind of admiration for what Dots wants to do with his life. He wants to r run the city and all this, and 
I think by the end of it, Scratch Car just accepts that, uh, you know, and he, he's not either of these two, and he's, he's just, uh, he's happy enough with his lot, you know, and uh, so he doesn't take sides at the end. He respects Liam's decision, and uh, he knows Dotsie is, uh, is just going to be Dotsie. He doesn't try and change him. He doesn't try and settle him down too much. But I think Scratch Card, he learns a lot, but by the time, by the, time the end of the film comes, it's, uh, it's probably too late. Oh, that's a good. That's a good thing, right? What you should do is, is you come down. You're like, what do you want? We're backing off, and then you go. Oh, yeah. so you got the money in the shoe, and you'd be looking down there. Yeah. And then, and then, and then I think you're gonna go backing off forward as well. Yeah. And when you look down there, then you look up and you, you see them. The minute you see them, then Steve, you put the car back. Pull the car back this way. Jules, so, uh, Jules, yeah, just have them. Have you got the keys? Yeah, we'll have a rehearsal first. Yeah, just ready. Trying to back me. No, no, go, go that way. Yeah, right, 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 go now. That's it, yeah. Hit him with the blue. And where am I, what am I doing when this is happening? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's it, yeah. That's it. Perfect, yeah. I swear to God, if you no money, I swear to God, I'm gonna hit you so hard, I'm gonna kill your whole fucking family out. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, I'm fucking pissed. Oh, I swear to God. Oh, 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 Please, man. Please, man. Please, man. How are you doing? Alright, sorry. What's happening? Who are you playing? Uh, who am I playing? Uh, Limbo. 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 The yeah, Limbo, Limbo. What's Limbo do? He limbos. But <laughs> <laughs> look out at this big man here. He's a henchman for the boss. But look out at this fella here. Make sure no one acts the bollocks with him or that, you know, so. Relax, you was. You're dealing with these without guns. Mamba, you want to hear? Take your mate's advice. What's that? Yeah. We don't take fucking no one's advice, you yeah? know? Listen, relax. Three scars are not for you now, huh? Huh? Mamba, relax. Oh, is that what it is? Is that what it is? Relax, will you? Yeah, yeah relax. Listen, you get to my fucking game. Relax. You want to eat, boss? Yes. Good. Good, yeah. Good lad. Um, I'm playing a man called Paul Chambers. He's a, a gangster. He runs a criminal gang out of uh, this pub, Knockers in Cherry Street. I don't know, he's, he's a drug dealer and that, you know. And uh, a bit of a psychopath, you know. I wouldn't like to be knocking around with the fella, really the truth. How did you come to be in the film? How did it come about that you ended up playing the part? Just the director thought I'd be good in the part, you know. I didn't think so myself, but... So life's too short, so he said, I'll give it a go, you know. And uh, I don't know if it's going to work. I've done my best and that's all I can do, I suppose. My first ever day filming, so it's a bit nerve-wracking and all the people around you watching it and trying to get into the character. But uh, it's a pretty enjoyable experience as well, you know. Uh, great vibe for all the people. I think human beings have been acting for a long, long time, you know? And they will go on acting for as long as we're around, so it's, uh, it seems to be an essential part of human life, you know? So, there's my interview. Really enjoying this film. My name is Anthony O'Toole, from the hood, the Bronx of Sherry Street. Who are you playing? I'm playing Anto, the muscle man. <laughs> And it should be Anto, the corner man. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm looking after Damien. Me and Steele, looking after Damien. But he won't pay us. He kills us if you don't want. So there's most of it. Yeah, me, my name is Yomi, and I play Philip. And uh, what do you have to do today? What, what were the scenes you had to do today? Well, for me, I just finished running all over the place now. With only my pants, yeah. <laughs> With a bushes knife. <laughs> and in, yeah, and in my chelsea. And I was out there, in the cold. And I didn't tell my wife about this scene. <laughs> well, it's gonna be. I know if I told her about the scene where I was running all over the place in my pants, she would have objected to it. So, <laughs> so I didn't tell her. I'm going to wait for the film to come out and then shock her. <laughs> it must have been cold there as well, yeah? Oh yes, it was very cold out there, it was very cold. But I enjoyed it. It was good exercise because we had several takes. So, I guess I would have lost like 10 kg right now. <laughs> <laughs>
like I'm like wearing like full on, you know, and then you just come yeah. tap me on the shoulder. Yeah, you know it's them as well. You'll know it's them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the chocolate way. Yeah, yeah. Just say it. You know, we wait for you all day. Yeah, exactly. It makes more sense to say that straight away than to yeah. see the chocolate part. Yeah. yeah, cool. What a size of this folk. Look at the party, mate. Eh, well. How do you get in here? What the, how, what the fuck is happening here? Oh, no, we're here to see Philip. Do you know what I mean? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Stephen. I'm playing Scratch Card. And uh, really difficult role for me, you know. Um, so I came over and the hardest part was actually the accent for Scratch Card. So I spent a couple of days on the on Sheriff Street here with Daniel, <laughs> who's um, who came in. Uh, he's from Sheriff Street, an area. Brilliant actor, isn't he? Yeah, and you know, and uh, so what a talent it is. A natural, man. natural talent actually. And um, so I spent a few days with Daniel in his house, and um, had a few pints and knocked us the local pub, and really got the accent down. And once that was that was there, uh, I was ready to go. So I really thanks to Daniel and his family for taking me into Sheriff Street. We can't have people shouting because then it's not going to cut together. Okay, and we need just need quiet now, okay? Okay, quite please. Mm.